Alfonsina Camacho to come from Ensenada, Faith Home, and give her testimony. Praise the Lord. Um, Jesus told Martha, right, that he was the resurrection. And um, I am going to speak about uh, how that power of resurrection got uh, manifested in healing. Last year, um, towards the end of June, um, I had been having some complications from continuous um, illness I've had. And um, one of them is, well, I had, I had two heart attacks. The first one, um, the sister that uh, has been, was taking care of me some time, um, she found me fainted. And um, she called the other sister that's in the faith home. And um, they took me, when they found me fainted, uh, she said that I was pale. Uh, my lips were already blue. And my eyes were fixed, wide open. I wasn't blinking anymore. Um, there was no more shine in my eyes. Um, it was just fixed. And um, they uh, laid me on my bed. And at that time, um, this is from what they were telling me. Uh, they were listening from, from me. Uh, the Holy Spirit was indicating to them what to do. Now, from my perspective, I saw myself, um, I was in this bright white light, like a, as if it was a room just full of light. And I saw myself sitting there peacefully, calmly, just waiting. But at a distance, I was, I can feel the presence of the Lord and just really peaceful. I was not worried, no fear, nothing sitting there. And I can sense the Lord just telling me, just, just wait here, just wait here. What, was I, what I was waiting for, of course, was what the sisters told me afterwards, right? The Lord, there was a big battle going on. And it was interesting because, you know, um, the Holy, we belong to the Lord, right? And the uh, power of the Holy Ghost should manifest in our lives. And so they were listening to the Spirit of the Lord, um, giving them instructions on what to do. In the meantime, they had also been calling um, on the phone. They had uh, Pastor Carl and Sister Lisa on and off contacting them re regarding my state. Um, but they were listening to what to do. Um, Holy Ghost speaking to them, but using my body. I was not there. The Lord said, the, the, word of the, God, the Word of God tells us, right, that the Lord preserves our soul, right? And so that's what I was feeling. God was preserving my soul while he was uh, delivering my body. And then um, after I came out of that, um, I saw my fingernails were like a brown color, like, uh, like tea, you know, coffee with water, that kind. And my toenails were that color. My teeth were that color. Um, when I came back, um, they were telling me that my eyes were open and fixed. But when I uh, and from my perspective, I finally saw them, but then I told them that I had not seen them the whole time. Whatever they were doing, I was not seeing anything. I just saw myself in this other place. Then about a few days after that, I had another heart attack, and um, uh, this time it was just fighting. All three of us were fighting in prayer. Um, and in, in that, you know, we had also the, the, the elders on the phone. And um, at that time, while we were fighting, this stroke was starting to come. My left arm was moving independently, just flaring back and forth. And I just, you know, I couldn't control it. There was no control over it. Just kept going like that. And I was feeling like a pulling on my left uh, chin and cheek. And it was just pulling to the left. Um, and the sisters that were there praying with me and, and um, uh, massaging my, you know, to help me, uh, I told her, I said, could you see what's happening? She said, yes. And she said, my left eye was closing. But I said, Lord, what is this? And the Lord said, that is a spirit of stroke. So he named it, right? And I said, oh. I was like, oh. I said, well, you know, you have no authority over me. I said, you have absolutely no authority. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. And I was just fighting, and the Lord was fighting, and he was just telling me what words to say at that time. And claiming, you know, I belong to the Lord. I don't belong to you. You have no authority. And as we were praying and rebuking and claiming, it, it just stopped. The hands, it just, you know, was calm. 
um, everything just, you know, went back to normal. Uh, my eye opened everything. There was no issues. Um, for a few months after that, uh, I did have the last two fingers on my left hand for a few months. They were still kind of numb. Took a few months for that sensation to come back. And, and on my left side, when I would chew, it was as if I was biting uh, like aluminum foil, you know, tasted metallic, you know, like that. And that only lasted a few months also. So, and then uh, also at the same time, the clearing of, you know, the nails in my teeth and uh, the toenails also, that all cleared up, you know. So um, I'm only standing here truly from, because of all the prayers, all the prayers of everybody. And I'm really grateful and I thank you so much. Um, it's just, you have no idea um, the power behind the prayers that you all do, you know, and so I am standing here as an evidence of that, you know, of, of the power in that prayer, you know, and um, don't you just realize that there is power, amen? There is power, and God has that power. Uh, we just have to claim it. We have to claim it is for all of his children, and I want to thank you and thank everyone for the, the, those prayers uh, for my life, my ministry. Um, praise the Lord. Thank you.